first we have is insertion. Insertion is nothing but when an array is already existing, we want to insert some element into it. Deletion is an array is there, we want to remove an element. Searching is we have linear search and binary search. Searching is you having an array, you want to search whether a particular element is there or not, if it is there in which position. Merging is having two arrays and combining them into one. Sorting is you have values in different order and different ranges in an array. You want them in either ascending or descending order or based on some, some, uh, some parameter you want it to be sorted, you go in for this sorting. So, we will just see a simple program for searching the elements of an array. You have the main function, here I am declaring two integer variables n and j, j's values initialized to 0, I am having an array x whose maximum value it can hold is 10. So, in this array only I am going to have the values which are to be searched. Next I am printing f, enter the 10 elements and for j is less than 10 till j plus plus I am entering the values. So, here if you see in this for loop, I am not having the initialization statement because I have already initialized the value of j to 0 here. So, this is one form of for loop that we have seen and this is how the array is arranged in memory, 10 elements. So, from 0 to 9 and I have inserted the values over here. So, this is how it will be stored in memory. So, now I have to get from the user what element I want to search. So, I am entering the element to be searched, I am entering the value 7 using the scan of statement. Now, I have to search whether that element is there in the array. So, the element is there in this seventh position. So, what am I doing? From 0 up till 10, I am checking whether the element of the array matches the element which I have entered, whether this element in the 0th position matches with 7, second position matches with 7 or not. That is why this if statement if x of j, that means as long as the loop executes from 0 to 10, if x of 0 is equal to 7, if x of 1 is equal to 7, if x of 2 is equal to 7. So, it will check this 1 with 7, 2 with 7, 3 with 7 till it reaches the 6th position. So, 7 is over here. So, till this equal to statement is satisfied, the loop will go on executing. Once this if statement becomes true, immediately it will execute the statement following it, which is nothing but a break. We all know what a break does, it simply exits from the loop. So, once the element is found for which I am searching, immediately it will come out of the loop. So, this loop will get executed for 6 times because only in the 7th position this element is found. So, as soon as the break statement is encountered, I come out of the loop. What do I do out of the loop? Now, I have to print the element has been found out and it is at this particular position. So, if x of j is equal to n, if the element is found, then I am printing f element is found at position percentage d j plus 1. Now, why, why am I giving here this j plus 1? Because actually the index starts from 0 to 6, but according to the user it is in the 7th position because we see the size of an array from 1, but inside the computer memory it is stored from 0. So, because if I give 6 it may confuse the user, I am just incrementing it by 1 and I am saying position 7. So, j plus 1. So, though it is found in the 6th position, when it is being displayed, it will display it as a 7th position which will be easy for the user to understand. So, if the element is found, I am printing it is found at this position, otherwise I am printing it is not found. So, these are the 10 elements that I have entered and I am entering the element to search and I am telling that it is found at this particular position. So, this is one of the ways we use a single, this is only a single dimensional array, this is one of the operations that are done on single dimensional array. 